What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey, and the update dropped yesterday, and I think one of the most number one complaints is about the controls, so I'm gonna give you guys some help. I'm gonna teach you all about the auto aim feature, exactly how it works, when it works, what brawlers you wanna be using it with, what ones you don't wanna be using it with, and when to use it. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so to start out, let's just go over quickly how exactly the auto aim feature works. So first of all, if you're a brawler who's using a super that jumps in the air, and if it's a defensive super, if it's not one you ever use to target an enemy, for instance, Piper's super, where she just jumps up away typically, that one, you're just gonna jump straight up. Now, if you're placing a turret, if you're Pam or if you're Jesse, and you just click with the auto aim, for your super, it's just gonna go straight down wherever you are. It's the same with Nita's bear as well. But if you're Crow or El Primo, they jump like Piper, but those are typically used offensively. They're gonna target the closest enemy brawler and they're gonna jump exactly to wherever they were as soon as you click that super button. They're gonna jump right there as long as they're in range of the super. Some other rules with the auto aim is it always targets the closest enemy brawler. So even if you're a brawler who has an area attack like Poco and you can hit multiple people, it's gonna target the closest one, even if it could have hit two people if it targeted maybe not exactly at the same direction as the closest enemy brawler. So that is something you definitely wanna keep in mind. Um, same with any super like Bull super, it's gonna target the closest Brawler, maybe that's not who you want to target, but that's who it's gonna target and that works the same with the attack and the other rule with the auto attack feature is if an enemy brawler is behind a wall It's not gonna fire with the auto attack So even if it's slightly behind the wall and you have a brawler who can shoot around walls a little bit like Nita or like Poco That's not gonna target them now The only exception of course is if you're a thrower they can throw over walls So whether a brawler is behind a wall or not doesn't affect them but those are the basic rules for the auto attack feature. Definitely keep that in mind. And that's really going to affect how you want to use the auto attack and when you want to use it for each brawler. So now let's go over each brawler really quick and when you want to use the auto attack and how it works with them. All right, so let's start off with Shelly. Do you want to use the auto attack with Shelly? Yes, definitely. She's pretty good with the auto attack. It feels decent compared to some other brawlers. I still feel like you miss some with Shelly even with the auto attack. But it's pretty good. The one exception you want to keep in mind is sometimes with Shelly's super, you actually want to hit people behind walls. But the auto attack is not going to work that way. So just keep that in mind. In those cases, you're going to have to fire her uh, super manually. All right, next, let's go over Colt. So Colt with his normal attack, it's decent. If they're in um, close to medium range with Colt, it's going to be pretty good. But if they're long range, all you have to do is strafe a decent amount. And Colt, high chance of missing with the auto attack. But... As a general rule, it's not bad. I would recommend using it at least to some degree. And then as you get more comfortable with control, start trying to figure out whether you want to use the auto attack or not at long range. Now with his super, this is going to be, I'm going to definitely recommend it with his supers. I always found his supers pretty hard to hit with. So just an automatic reaction, hit his super auto attack button. And usually that's pretty good, honestly. And you can strafe side to side, depending on what way they're going. That works pretty well. Next, Nita. Nita is pretty good with the auto attack, but Nita, one of Nita's strengths is that she can shoot around walls really well. And with the auto attack, you just can't do that. So with Nita, you're gonna have to rely on just aiming manually a ton. And honestly, I would just get in the habit of aiming manually with Nita because otherwise, if you start relying on the auto attack, you're gonna have times where you could be shooting over that wall at least slightly, but the auto attack's not gonna do it. And would need a super, you're not going to want to use it unless you want the bear right next to you. Because that's what's going to happen if you use the auto attack with need a super. Next, dynamite. Now, now throwers, it doesn't work. Dynamite and barley, let's go over both of them right now. Now, you don't want to use it. It's pretty bad. Um, the only time it really works, well, barley, it's a little different. Dynamite, it pretty much never works. I would say it's just too slow. It works a little bit, like you sort of have to get lucky, honestly, they have to come back to where you're going. Um, with his Dynamite Super, is actually the one exception. Dynamite Super, it's not bad. You can use it some to some degree. You're gonna hit maybe as much as you miss. Um, so you're definitely gonna miss some, but you are gonna hit some of your Super, so it's not that bad. 
it depends up to you. If you get really comfortable with the controls, you want to use the controls. Barley, it, you can use the auto attack if they're going towards you. Um, then it's not bad. But otherwise, you're probably going to miss. There's a high chance of missing. I would stick to the manual controls, especially with his super. His super, you definitely want to use the manual controls. All right, El Primo. Really good. El Primo, I he's really good with the auto attack. Definitely. I always use it is what I would recommend. Always use it with El Primo pretty much. He can attack around corners a really tiny amount, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's great with his super offensively. He jumps right in. It's a really good instant reaction. Bull next Braum going over. Really good with the auto attack. Really great. His super, not bad. It's a little hard to aim his super quickly with the manual control, so you might use it. But it's kind of hard to position yourself with the auto attack on the closest brawler. Because that's the one thing is it's always going to target the closest one. And as Bull, you don't always want to target the closest one. You want to target a specific brawler who's a specific distance away from you where you're going to land right next to them with your super. So you probably are going to want to get in the habit of using his super manually. Now Brock. Brock, he's not that great with the auto attack. His attacks are just too slow. Basically, you fire them and then they move just laterally at all and he's going to miss. Brock, a lot of times you have to lead your shots and that doesn't work well with the auto attack. So I I would recommend not using it with Brock. With his super, you could use it. It's a decent reaction thing. The one thing that sucks about using the auto attack with his super is if you want to target multiple brawlers, that's not going to work. It's just, of course, going to target the closest one. So it's a little bit iffy there. So you want to get into the habit of maybe aiming that manually, but you can use it as an instant reaction thing if you want. Barley. Oh, I went over Barley. Jesse. I was actually surprised. I used Jesse with her auto attack, and it was pretty decent. Uh, I would recommend using it with Jesse. It's, we'll see. Maybe later on as we get more comfortable with it, people are going to start dodging it more. But for now, I think it's pretty good. I would recommend it. With her super, you don't want to do that, though. Always manually place your turret is what I would recommend. Ricochet. Uh, I would not recommend using the auto attack with Ricochet unless someone's right in your face and there's no bounce shots available. The thing with Ricochet, he's much more accurate if you're bouncing his shots and the auto attack never does that. Not on purpose. The auto attack, auto attack is never going to purposely bounce shots. So you're going to have to get into the habit of manually aiming Ricochet. He's going to be really hard to aim for a long time. Same thing with a super. It doesn't get the bounce shot for you, so it's not as accurate. So you want to get in the habit of manually aiming that. But if you want any instant reaction, use the auto attack. Now, Poco. Poco, it's decent. You can use the auto attack. But like Poco, he's really great at hitting multiple brawlers. And the auto attack is not necessarily great for that. So... Honestly, I would say get in the habit of manually aiming with Poco because it's honestly pretty easy to do manual attacks with Poco. It's really easy instant reaction. You don't have to be really, really accurate. You just have to be somewhat accurate. Like if you're off by a little bit on the side, that's okay. Usually you're hitting people that are easily within your range. And then his super, you can do um, instant reaction auto heals, but just know it's going to go towards the closest brawl and it's going to be hitting them straight on in the middle. So if you're trying to heal multiple teammates, it might not work. So... Maybe get in the habit of manually aiming unless you know you're just healing one person and that's okay. Next, Daryl. Fine. Yeah, any short-range brawler, really good with the auto attack. Daryl definitely uses his normal attack with the auto attack. The one exception is his super. If you're going for quick damage, like one hit, you can use the auto attack. But you're going to want to get into the habit of aiming his super. Because uh, it's just, it goes so far. If you don't know where you're going to end up, it's not nearly as useful. You're kind of be you're gonna have a lot of situations where you're randomly in the enemy spawn and you didn't want to be, or you're randomly in your spawn you didn't want to be. So you want to get into the habit of aiming that manually. I know it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to aim for a long time, so maybe just try and practice how to get used to it. But eventually we should get there. Next, Piper. Okay, this one was actually surprising to me. I thought Piper was gonna be really bad with the auto aim, but her attack is fast enough that she's actually pretty good with the auto aim. I would recommend it. And I actually really recommend it because aiming with the normal joystick control is really hard with Piper. So I feel like you move a tenth of a degree and all of a sudden your shot is, you know, going the other direction, basically. So I would definitely use the auto attack with Piper. It's decently accurate um, and that's good enough for me as a Piper. So I would definitely recommend it. Her super, yeah, don't ever use the auto attack with her super. You're just going to go straight up and you're going to look like a fool. So don't do it. Pam. Pam, it's not bad, um, but I find you sort of end up wanting to lead your shots a little bit with Pam. 
you can strafe side to side and keep them in your shot, but I do feel like you want to like uh, lead your shot a little with Pam. And the one thing too, it's really easy to aim pan shots manually, I feel like. So I would just say aim it manually. You're going to do better aiming manually and you're going to get more shots. You're going to hit more shots. It's just going to be a better overall thing. It's not hard to aim manually with Pam. So I would just say don't use the auto attack with Pam unless you need that instant reaction. With her turret, you don't want to do it. Always manually place it. Next, Tara. I'm really disappointed with this one with Tara. Actually, it's not bad with her normal attack, um, but it sucks with her super. So you don't want to use it with her super, but at the same time, her super is actually pretty hard to aim manually. So there's not a great solution here because what when you aim at auto attack with her super, it aims at exactly where they are. So it doesn't pull them towards you at all, which as a Tara, you want them... You want to pull them closer to you so you can hit them at close range and deal maximum damage with her attack and hit multiple people. But that doesn't work with Tara because it just aims exactly where that closest enemy brother was exactly when you tap the button. So they don't move at all or they move, you know, half a tile and they're not moving closer to you. So you're not getting an easier shot. It's not very good. You're going to have to aim manually with Tara Super, but it's pretty hard to aim manually. So it's honestly, you just got to take your time with it and just learn it out and struggle and learn from your mistakes. Next, Mortis. I think this is going to surprise a lot of people. I think a lot of people thought Mortis was going to be really bad after the update, but honestly, I don't think he's that bad. Um, I actually think him with the auto attack is actually really good. Um, he's really good instant reactions. You can just spam that auto attack button and follow people and just dash, dash, dash and get multiple hits in really quick and it's really hard to counter. So he's actually really good in that sense. The one exception is you can't use the auto attack to get closer to a brother. Like say for instance, you want you needed two dashes, one dash to get right next to a brother and then the next dash hits them. Well, the auto attack isn't going to give you that dash to get next to them. So you're going to have to do that manually. So with Mortis, it's going to be a mix of um, aiming manually and then a mix of the auto attack. But it's actually pretty good. You can get some good reaction speeds with Mortis, which is really good and with his super it's not bad the only thing is of course it aims for the closest brawler so if you're trying to get multiple heals hit multiple people it might not always happen because the angle might be off all right two more got the legendaries left we got spike so my opinion with spike it's just okay spike you actually want to lead your shots a little bit and with the auto attack that tends not to happen now, it's kind of hard to aim your attacks, so for now, you might end up using the auto attack some, but as you get better with the controls, you're going to want to just use the controls, because with Spike, you do want to lead your shots a little bit, and it's just because you want to get direct hits with his spikes, otherwise, this is not a lot of damage. The auto attack, you can get direct hits if they're going straight towards you, or if it's like a narrow corridor, um, or if they're just going straight back, but otherwise you might not get that direct hit So I would recommend trying to learn aiming manually with spike The one exception is with his super with his super. It's actually pretty decent Because I feel like you can get that instant reaction, which is definitely pretty good with spike and it's usually Decently accurate like you're never gonna have really bad misses with his auto attack with his super um, You're always gonna hit them at least somewhat unless they're like supering out of it they're jumping out of it so it's not that bad the only thing is sometimes you want it to be like shading away from them or shading towards you like shading whatever direction you think they're going to try and escape to that's not going to happen if you're using the auto attack with the super so that's one thing to keep in mind it's definitely not bad um as you get really good with the controls maybe you start doing it manually for now you might just want to use the auto attack with the super though all right last brawler is crow so Crow, it's not bad. I find um, if you're trying to hit multiple people, sometimes you end up missing some of the daggers, um, one of the daggers, but you're going to get a decent, you're pretty much always going to hit at least one of the daggers. So it's not bad. You're keeping them poisoned, which is one of the big things with Crow. So you're keeping them, they're not going to be able to heal for a long time. And the other thing too, with this super, it's actually really good. If you're trying to be offensive with Crow, you get easy jumps with his auto attack. You get the quick reaction right next to someone, wherever they were. You can spam the auto attack with his normal attack. Um, I would definitely recommend it. It's not that bad with Crow. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Looking forward, I'm going to have a ranking of the best brawlers after the update. And I think I'm going to release that either Sunday or Monday. And then a little bit after that, I'll tell you guys the quickest new way to max your account. 
But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope I was able to help you out with your auto attack. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know how you're feeling about the update now after playing a little more. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you later.